so this is the video for my journals this one is for the ambulance project that i did at ithaca college for my editing class um so just like the other ones i'm gonna explain why i made the decisions i made and uh what order i did everything in so with this project um we were given footage from different scenes that had audio and video elements um and we were supposed to make a 45 second sequence of it and a minute or yeah a minute and um and a half sequence of it so this is my minute and a half i decided to start with a longer one just because it's easier to go down and then go back up um meaning it's easier to make a longer sequence and then turn it into a shorter one a more concise one rather than the other way so i started with a voiceover of the guy saying my name is Sven and i died last week uh so this story is actually about an overdose and that is why i decided to start that way just to set the scene of what was going to happen next um let me just mute these audio tracks so i can scrub through so i started out with a pov shot of um the hospital worker coming in and seeing what's going on or a family member coming in and seeing what's going on um it never really specified but i just thought that would open it up well into them checking him and then his point of view of them trying to talk to him and then this one of him seemingly dead uh, and yeah, so it just built up like that and I had to cheat this because we don't know exactly what she was saying So I cheated it. So then it looked like it was saying what the voiceover Sir, said stay with me I need to know what you have taken. I need so we can help you And then I allowed it to cut to here rather than continue back to the other girl that was in <laughs> the previous um just so that I could cheat that it was her saying it and this was the nurse that was talking to him when in actuality it is let's find her and she is right there she's the one pushing him on that's the girl who was saying the voiceover uh even though this is not her supposedly I mean it might be to be honest but uh the footage is really sparse and the acting was not very well done so there was not much to work with uh, i just tried to have to some sort of storyline together and um i was hopeful that it would work out so then once we got through all the overdose stuff then we got to him in the ambulance uh, and that was kind of my turning point for this storyline and then we got a lot of b-roll shots here just because the acting was really bad so i wanted to cover her up as much as possible um and if i take the eyes off this one there she is so i was covering her up because she was not acting well um and it made it seem very awkward when you saw her so this b-roll just was used as a cover-up and then we have her trying to resuscitate him um and then he kind of wakes up a little and you see how I tried to match cut his eyes. He looked up, which then cut to his POV of looking around at the ambulance, which then cut to him with his eyes open on the couch from earlier, from this shot, because he actually did open his eyes because he didn't die, he just thought he did. Um, and then we showed a little POV of what might be happening on the TV that he's watching. And then we ended it with her saying, sir. Um, just because i wanted it to be ambiguous to see if he actually did end up dying again and this was just him thinking about what was happening and what happened before he died uh until it brought him to his what i want the audience to assume is his death so in the 45 second one it is just like a shortened version of the minute and a half one except this one actually um he doesn't die i believe i had him not die in the end yeah, I had him end on the movement just so people assume that maybe he did live. So we started out with this one with his eyes closed, the view of what was going on, eyes closed, eyes open. Because I wanted everyone to know who was watching the shorter one that maybe he did overdose, but he was still alive and he was brought into the ambulance and this is just flashbacks of what happened when he was found. Um, nurses again, more B-roll to cover up the acting and then her resuscitating and him living. So for the shorter one, I decided to go with a more 
lively approach meaning like he survived in the end just because i thought maybe i could try and challenge myself to make it to make the footage seem like he actually lived even though the footage was meant for him dying which is why i ended up doing that one for the longer one just because i wanted to do what the footage wanted me to do you know just let the footage work with itself um but for the shorter one i wanted to challenge myself to make it more like he survived in the end which i thought came out pretty interesting um and the way i decided to organize this was by scene so we have the scenes over here i named everything triple tv no good um stuff like that and then the second scene which is or it says third but uh the third scene which is the b-roll and a lot of don't uses because her acting again is not very good um and this is all just her resuscitating in the ambulance and then we got b-roll of which i didn't name because the b-roll was um was not used very often and i just kind of threw those in at the end over her because my professor suggested that covering her acting might help move the piece a little bit quicker which did work out um and yeah here are my two sequences so i tried to keep it as organized as possible um and let me take these mutes off so yeah that's how i decided to layer it i feel like it did end up coming out pretty well um i think the b-roll did help move the story along rather than just letting her stay on the screen because it wasn't working for the story at all um and yeah i think starting with his voice was also a very good start indicator because it introduced his voice to the story and made him seem like an outside force narrator um, and then we started with him being unconscious. So then you knew that this was like a godly voice. It wasn't exactly in the storyline. It wasn't diegetic. It was more non-diegetic voiceover. And this one, he started on screen with his voice. So I thought maybe that would make it seem like he was more grounded um, in the story. So yeah, um, this is what I decided to do for the ambulance project. And yeah, just stay tuned for the other videos I'm going to be posting. Thank you.